not shit. You got lucky the first time. You trash, bro. Think you all this? You think you got class? You really nothing. Why you running? Give my rematch. Come play me. Why you running? Town, Memphis, Tennessee. And As the Grizzlies try to defend their home court. We're all set to bring you NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. Showing off ever. Morant attacks the basket with just such intensity. There's not much any defense can do with it. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. Now here's Adams. Pass to Brooks. Kick out to Adams. And here's Morant. Lock at six. Here's Jackson. Back to Bain. Morant, that's for two. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Hey, Craig, talking about the great John Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. And yes, it's good. The team first mindset of Jackson, willing to get the ball to his open guys. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Now, here's Bain. Morant with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Bain with the bucket. And this is part of Morant's role. As a guard, he's responsible for finding the open man. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Morant. And he can't jam it through. To the paint. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Greg, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level on the playoff. And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Pass to Eldama. Back to Jones. Fires the three. A shot missing. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Here's Osman. Aldama with the rebound. Memphis leading by five. Nobody near Williams. And again, Memphis no good. This is his second trip to the line in this one. First personal foul. Second team. No good on the free throw. Wow, but he have something in his eye on that shot. <laughs> Maybe. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. And so the first quarter is in the books. Grizzlies lead by five. The second quarter coming up. The Cavaliers, two. All right, and if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Guys, what's your take on the Grizzlies so far? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks, great stuff. Here's Mobley. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. What an elite athlete Mobley is, getting off the ground effortlessly for the throwdown. 
looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team, this is a squad that really wants to get out of that championship team shadow. They want to establish their own identity. Here's Okoro. Isaac Okoro. That's good. It's Rubio assist with the assist. Now. Ricky Rubio. Okoro's got his first two points. Nice job creating for the easy dish. Brooks misses. We've talked about it, Richard. The city of Cleveland eternally grateful to LeBron for winning them a title back in 2016. And so is the franchise, but it's understandable why these players want to be given respect on what they've done for this team since he left, especially considering the recent success they've had with this young crew. Going inside. Morant with a wide open look. The Grizzlies with another miss. Pass to Okoro. Back to Love. For three. Kevin it's Love. good. And he makes his first shot of the game. A volume three-point shooter for a big man. Love can certainly torch you from downtown. Here's Conchar. On the wing, Jackson. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Back to Morant. They need this. Jackson misses. Cavaliers leading. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Morant with it. He's picked up by LeVert. Count the basket. 30 seconds left now here in the second. Pass to Okoro. Back to Love. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Here's Eldama. Launches it. That one doesn't go. Can't hit that one. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by two. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank Greg dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? Man, they could knock down the triple. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Mobley's got the lead up to four now for the Cavs. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on deep. Seal him off or have him. Look, this man's going to punish you on that glass. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. From 12 feet out. Here's Allen. Out of bounds. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. Here's Allen. And Allen slams it in. There he is gone. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Pass to Williams. Back to Jones. In the corner, it's Payne. Just five to shoot. The kick out to Williams. And it's denied. Mitchell outside. 
Memphis and you ball. figured once Gobert was traded, it was a matter of time before Mitchell so was moved ball. as well. And you knew a team would jump at the chance to add him. And here we are Two now. How do you start with a starring role for Donovan, Donovan Mitchell? That misses, so he splits the free throws. One word you always hear the Grizzly players mention is chemistry. Yeah, you can't fake chemistry, and it's true. When you ask these guys what makes their team special, they point out what a tight-knit group they are. Some people might not think chemistry is a big deal, but it is huge when it comes to this league. And one thing is, if you look on paper, it could feel like there's chemistry. But as you know, sometimes it doesn't translate to the real world. No, it does not translate. And then after that, if you don't have chemistry, you better have professionals. And Garland has it in the corner. Inside. It's stolen by Adams. Stolen by Mitchell. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And a wide open look for Bain. The shot goes down to get this game back to even. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. And we talk about the importance of the offensive end. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. change here so it's Rubio bringing it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers here's Allen and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here second person of all Jared Allen has become a cornerstone of this Cleveland Cavalier team he plays on both sides of the ball with such intensity at the line for two and he's good on the second. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Jones. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And here's Cleveland. They lead by one. Here's Allen. Grizzlies with the rebound. What are you doing now? Iris! Ring, ring, ring! Oh, are you scared? You scared? He's not talking. He's scared. He's my fucking rematch. I'm about to fuck him, boy. He's scared. Okay. Get right in that mouth. Keep going. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Chris Middleton. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Mitchell. He draws iron on the dunk. The kick out to Anadokounmpo. To the inside. Here's Lopez. Tries again. Oh, and Anadokounmpo hammers it in. Well, that's just a matter of outworking the defense there by Giannis. Beating them to the glass and sending it right back. Two minutes remaining in the first. And here's Harlan for three. Cleveland with a fresh shot clock. Here's Steffens. It's stolen by to Takumbo. Top of the key, Holiday. It's stolen by Allen. For three, Mitchell. That one misses. And Milwaukee the other way now. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. And with his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. 
All about getting to his spots. For three, Middleton comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And here's Carlin for three. Allen with the rebound. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Honest, no good. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to Dennis keep him out of the way. Donovan Mitchell. Garland with, with, with the bucket. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make Giannis and does it Kumbo. with terrific timing. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. And here's Garland for three. Another miss by Garland. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. And to Takumbo. Takumbo. Lays it up off the glass. Ante Takumbo's got eight points. Boy, once Giannis gets the ball in the painted area, Ante Takumbo is really almost automatic. Ante Takumbo. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stunt. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. The the and so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right Let's give it up for your Cavs powerhouse team. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away. But the inside area is their territory. Pass to Okoro. Back to Rubio. Clock is at three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Rubio's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Cavs. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Rubio with it. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Carter. They swipe it. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Rubio left side. Over to the left wing. Portis brings the double team. Just five on the clock. Fires for three. Rubio missing again. Bucks leading by seven. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. Ibaka's got four this quarter. Lavert with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Over in the corner, Osman. And he makes good on the way. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist Bucks was right on target. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the Here game. Here they come, fans. It's your Cavs powerhouse dance team. So Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. It's out of the combo on the wing. Shoots over Mobley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
Well, that's just an assertive play by Giannis against tough defense, drawing a foul and still getting the shot off. In Giannis' journey, G.A., so incredibly compelling, a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie? Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Mobley outside. And Lavert, here we go. Lock at six. The three from Garland. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one make. Lopez outside. And here is Hunter Decumbo. 11 points in the game. Lopez, no luck. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Inside. Mobley outside. And Garland has it in the corner. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump score. him up because he takes Your a Cavaliers. ton of pride in what he does. Seven. And so it's Milwaukee holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll return shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Now, Garland to the wing right side. Back to Mitchell. Cleveland moving it around. It is good. Mitchell's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Cavs. Like we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? That's a great question. I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. There's Garland. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Garland's got his second basket. And you want more of this from Mitchell. Good to see him moving the ball like that. And you figured once Gobert was traded, it was a matter of time before Mitchell was moved as well. The team would jump at the chance to add him. And here we are now. A new start with a starring role for Donovan Mitchell. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. You got to like what Rubio does here. I mean, working his magic in the painted area. Giannis doesn't go for him. Excellent tee there from Allen. The Cavaliers trailing. Right, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. At the line. Really, no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Kevin Love. And great for Kevin Love. He feels like he's got a lot of years left in the league. And Kevin, coming off the bench, should lengthen the end of his career. He can thrive as a bench weapon with that green light, and he's got that light to let it fly with that shot. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Fifty-four seconds left to play here in the third. Kicks it out to Rubio. Lays it up and banks it in. Rubio's 
got four points now in the quarter. This is what Rubio gives you. Effort combined with skill. Able to finish through contact. Down low. And Portis throws it down. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Near the three-point line, it's Love. Milwaukee with the rebound. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. Yeah. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball. And we've watched three so far in this one. Twenty-one. The Bucks on top, up five. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Here's Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Once Giannis gets going now, he stays hot. He's capable of putting the entire offense on his broad shoulders. Mitchell with it. Matthews covering. And there it is for him. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. To the middle. Here's Abaka. Mobley with the block. Two minutes remaining in the game. Nice ball Two movement minutes. by Milwaukee. Here's onto Takumbo. Abaka. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Bucks leap by five. And the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something about to do a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. The wide open look here for Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Second shot opportunity. Inside. It's stolen by Hill. Here's Matthews. The shot misses. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's Garland. It's deflected. Allen outside. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Got to be denied there. Allen playing hard. A little contact. Not going to bother. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. All game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Back to Lopez. It's good! Big scores like that one are what you can count on from Lopez. Mitchell with it. Out guarded by Giannis. Mitchell is double. It's Garland. And it's sent back! It's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Thirty-five seconds left here in the fourth quarter, and another miss by Cleveland. No, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And Zoyanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Allen outside. Shot by Middleton, wide open. It's Middleton sinks Three the triple, points. and now an eight-point Bucks lead. Quite a presence of mind, really Middleton. important. You know, this game is more mental than physical. Middleton is a guy who stays in the moment. He's exceptional at knocking down a good shot off a good pass. 
Second and down. he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Shooting for Milwaukee. A multiple-time MVP. You know, what's really scary is that Giannis feels like he can keep getting better, and more importantly, he does the work to get better. Pass to Allen. From deep. That shot, no good. From deep, onto the Kumbo. Off target. And so the Bucks take the win. They seem to relish their role as the best. Don't give me the ball back. Don't give me the ball back. Give it to me then. Dumbass. So stupid ass, nigga. Trash. So bitch, I took that kid ass up, nigga. Where you from? Hey, hey, nah, hey, nah. Where you from?